Howdy ho! How are you doing, ladies? <clears throat> I just got done watching La La's Land, and her and Teresa and Crystal did this really cool thing called the t your top five craft items and top five planner ideas, or top pl five planner <clears throat> items you use. And I thought it was so fun that I wanted to do it too. So these are the three ladies who's participating. So now I'm participating because. I just, I want to. You need a video response, Lala. Hold on. Where would a girl be without her glue and her Mod Podge? I tape that's to the side. I consider this also a glue. I use this to sparkle up things. Um, some people buy um, expensive glitter paste and stuff. Not me. I'm a Dollar Tree kind of girl. My glue gun. Need some tacky glue in your life. Mod Podge of all kinds. Elmer's glue. This is the wet glue. Glue stick. Gotta have it. Gotta, gotta. And for y'all paper crafters, Mono Tombow Aqua Liquid, Aqua Liquid Glue. The best ever. And... My crumpled up little bottle of E6000, which I love more than anything, and I need to buy some more. So glue is number one. Number two, scissors. I have them in every room of my house. My bedroom, my craft room, my kitchen. These little owl scissors, perfect for cross stitch. I know you're supposed to have paper scissors and all sorts of other scissors. I don't. I know. I'm going to regret it one of these days, but I love these. I've had these forever in a day. I bought these about, I swear, eight years ago at the Dollar Tree. And these are my kitchen scissors, and I love them. I, I cut herbs with them. I open packages with them. I open mail with them. Great. These are my bedroom scissors. These are my craft room scissors. Don't ask me why. Just go with it. Hello, number three is cardstock paper. Gotta have it. Can't live without it. Y'all show me your uh, uh, cardstock on on your YouTube channel, and I drool. I'm drool. You know, I'm wiping the slime. <laughs> this is my uh, scrap bin pile. Don't throw it away. Use it. Use it. But yeah, three paper. Number four, gotta have it, gotta, gotta, gotta. Punches. This one is a big one. My husband, they're throwing this out at his job, and he brought it home to me, and I love it. I love it. This one is the only really good crafting punch that I have. And I have a little teeny tiny, um, whatchamacallit, pun flower punch. I mean, it is itty-bitty. It makes, like, confetti that I got off Wish. But this one, this one... If you're going to buy one, get a circle, because, and this one happens to have um, little ruffles around the edges. Not ruffles. What am I trying to say? Anyway. Um, it wasn't very expensive. I got it at Walmart. Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's very, very helpful. I use it all the time. I punch out little round circles, and I call them pogs, because they look like that game my kids used to play when they were little with pogs. But anyway, really, really helpful. If you're going to have one punch, at least make it a circle. <sighs> yarn. Need I say more? I love my yarn. I love yarn, I think, more than paper. Although, I don't even know if that's true or not. But, I mean, it, it's a close, it's close. I adore my yarn. So my five things, this is number five. Gotta have it, gotta have yarn. Got to, got to, got to. I love the colors. I love to squeeze it. Squeeze it, scrunchy. I love to look at other people's yarn. I love to <laughs> go to the aisles at Walmart and Michaels and wherever I happen to be. I love to go to the thrift store and look for yarn. I love to go to... <coughs> freaking um 
garage sales and look for yarn. I just, I'm a yarnaholic, people. I love it. I love the colors. I love that, you know, I could pick this up and, you know, weave it into magically into a hat, you know. Anyway, I always tease my sisters and tell them it's my superpower that I can take string and make it into things. <laughs> okay, now we're into planners. And needless to say, I like planners. And my favorite planner of all is a happy planner. And this is the mini one. This is the one I write down um, the, the crafts that I did. And it's, it's this, the orientation is this way. And this one is really pretty. I absolutely adore it. I wish I had found this one in the big, um, in the big size. Oops, I skipped a month, didn't I? Uh-oh. But anyway, I love this mini one. Adore it. In fact, next year, I probably am not going to buy the big one. I'm just going to stick with the mini. Of course, I got little dangles on it, which I love. This one right here is medication. This is how I tell the doctors what's going on. I am lactose intolerant. I have IBD and I also suffer from um, migraines. So I take a lot of medicine. I also keep in here, um, I keep track of my water that I drink because I also have rotten kidneys. They're not rotten, but I have a scar in one of my kidneys. So I gotta make sure I drink enough water, otherwise I get sick. So, um, yeah, so this is when I go to the doctor's office and also it helps keep me honest what I'm taking. So if you take a lot of meds, this is probably, um, a good idea for you. This one I got at the family dollar. I think it was only like, I'm going to say five. This is my happy planner. I've showed this to y'all before. Um, I don't like the, um. I don't do the monthly. I do the weekly, but I don't do the monthly. But um, I don't like the colors of this. This is not my thing. I like the sentiment, but I don't like the whatever. But I just cover it up, so it's cool. Um, this one I got at Target. When I first started doing planners, the pages are blank, so I can use it whenever I want to. In fact, I might use that one next year. Oh, everything's sliding. I got too much stuff up here. Ah, this is another great one. This is um, this one is also undated. I got this one exceedingly cheap at um, Target. This is by Britain Company. I think the binder was, it was on clearance, it was like $3.50, and the inserts were $5. So, it's a really pretty, but since I was really into my happy planner, I haven't used it. But, it's to the side, and I will use it. 